Kenneth Thomas here, and today we're going to do a quick review of the Akamai KPM. It's a new pump, a lot like the Akamai KPS, which we actually already did a video on if you'd like to check that out. The KPM's larger, gives you all the same awesome benefits that that Nano KPS did, except for now you can put it on a bigger tank. So if you couldn't enjoy the KPS because it was a little small for your system, you better get ready. The Akamai KPM is an awesome little pump, keeps the theme going with a nice small form factor, but it's going to be delivering somewhere between 1150 to 2700 gallons per hour, which is a lot more than the KPS, which is what you'd expect from a size up. And that means you get to have the same beautiful waves in a larger aquarium. So if your tank is somewhere between 50 and 125 gallons, the KPM is just right for you. The KPM also uses Akamai's patented dual magnet support system, which is super easy to set up and more importantly cuts down on a ton of the vibration that the pump would put out so you don't have to listen to it on the aquarium. It's actually an incredibly quiet pump. I can't hear it ever. I, I, it's silence. The pump can be placed in just about any position on that internal suction cup, meaning you can point the pump in any direction within the aquarium that you'd like to put that flow exactly where you need it. The KPM can be programmed via the Akamai app using Wi-Fi, which means you can set the pump up to do a, a myriad, a crazy amount of different schedules. You can create them on your own, drag and drop, it's super simple, or you can select one of the presets that have already been placed there by Akamai, and there is a lot of them. So depending on what you wanna do, they probably already have a preset for you. But if you wanna get fancy, you can go totally custom. The KPM also has an internal real-time clock, which means it can keep track of the time and the program that's on the KPM if you ever have a power outage, so that when the power comes back on, your settings are still saved, and the KPM knows what time it is and what program should be running. Now, normally, from an aesthetic point of view, I would prefer a pump that doesn't have a wire that goes into the aquarium. However, that really kind of limits me down to one specific brand of pump. And uh, having worked with these pumps for, for quite a while now, since the KPS came out, I gotta say, for the performance of them, uh, the ease of use and programming, and the amount of uh, actual customization and programming you can do, for the price, they're amazing pumps. And I, I think they're well worth the sacrifice of having a, a wire in the tank. So if you're in the market for a new wave pump, check out the Akamai KPM. You don't spend a lot, but you get the features and performance of a big budget pump. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, drop those down in the comment section below. You can also reach out to us on social media like Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got new content coming out all the time. Lots of fun stuff for you guys. And uh, I'd love for you to keep on tanking with me here. So you should definitely sub and keep on tanking. Very similar to the KBS, but gusto, mucho grande. How do you Spanish? It can be directed in... This thing's gonna do the things you need the thing to do in a way that you're gonna love with the flows. The fl flow pump, Acme KPM. Thanks for watching.